Hey everybody, Professor Miller here. I wanted to show you a few essential tech tips to help you get through this online course at the minimum and hopefully any other courses you end up taking online in the future. Um, I can't possibly cover every single topic that you need in one video. So I'll give you an overview of what I think is the most essential pieces. Um, and what I need you to do is tell me what's missing. So we will, by the end of the semester, have collected a series of videos um, that I hope address any kind of technology issues you may be having. I don't want you to struggle with the technology. Chemistry is hard enough. So um, let me help you with the tech. I'm actually pretty good with it. So um, generally a quick Zoom call will allow us to see what's going on and I can help you. Um, I'm going to be showing you the way that it looks on a Windows computer. Macs can do the same things, but in a somewhat different approach. Okay, so if you have a Mac, we may have to get um, we may have to get on a Zoom call because I don't have one to show you how to do things. Um, if you have another kind of computer, a tablet or other operating system, you really have to be careful about using online classes that with a tablet. Um, because they have a limited ability to to run certain kinds of software like Java and other applications. For example, Blackboard tests don't work well on tablets for the most part. And um, the last I asked people, Mastering Chemistry was still struggling on some tablets and not on others. Okay. So if you need access to technology and you don't have access, I need you to reach out to me ASAP at the beginning of the semester and we might be able to help you, help you out finding the right materials. Okay, so how am I recording these videos? That's one thing. You can choose to do that um, as well. You're gonna need to download Zoom um, if we're doing one-on-one -on -one sessions. I plan to use the built-in video conferencing software in Blackboard for our synchronous class sessions. But if, if we're gonna meet one-on-one, -on -one, Zoom is a bit easier to coordinate. Um, you can get a free account just going to zoom.com and you know get the free one, don't pay for it. Um, you can record up to 40 minutes of video, which you certainly won't need more than that for this class, okay? So I wanna show you what it looks like um, when what I see essentially. So if you wanted to make a video, whoop, there I am. If you wanted to make a video like this and share it with your classmates instead of doing a discussion post or as part of a project, a presentation, whatever you're doing, um, your Zoom screen is gonna look something like this. You're gonna have a big picture of yourself, which is a little disconcerting at first. I'm not gonna lie. It takes a little bit of like getting used to, okay? Um, don't sweat it, okay? Nobody is judging you, it's okay. Um, and anything you share in the class will remain private. Any students who are caught screenshot, screenshots and sending them to, you know, Insta or whatever are going to be um, held responsible for that behavior. I encourage everybody to realize that this is a safe space. Okay, so don't steal people's images, don't put their videos on YouTube without permission, that kind of thing. Okay, so in Zoom, if I want to record, all I got to do is just click on this handy dandy record button, right? So it's right here down at the bottom. Um, when you do that, it changes to a pause button and a stop button. And that's how you can sort of try to avoid interruptions. If you know someone's coming in the door or something is going on, your dog is barking, you can pause the video. If you stop it, all that does is creates a different file name at the end of the video. So you'll have two files instead of one. Um, if you started it again. If you wanted to show something cool that you're working on on your screen, what you do is click share screen and another window is gonna pop up. So that window looks like this and you have some options here, all right? And so if you have an iPhone or an iPad, you can actually use it to draw like on a whiteboard. So you can choose that option if you've got one. Um, if you don't, you can choose to draw with a whiteboard. You can use a mouse or you can, if you don't have this, you can find them. But um, I think I got mine at Best Buy a couple of years ago when I first started teaching hybrid classes. Okay, that wasn't a couple of years ago. It was like five years ago, but you get the idea. This is called a Wacom, W-A-C-O-M, a Wacom tablet. But there's other brands. Uh, I think this one cost me about 80 bucks. It's pretty small, about like a half sheet of paper maybe. 
Um, but I, this is how I'm writing on my screen. And I find that is really a helpful tool for people if you're going to be taking online classes. Because like if you have a math class, it's easier than taking photos of your work. But um, you know, it's not an essential tool, it's just helpful. So you can use an iPhone um, or an iPad to write on the whiteboard. You can use your mouse or you can use an, a, another device like a pen or a, a little Wacom tablet. Okay, so when, when you're ready, you can choose also to select a particular window that you have open. I always have a billion windows open. So one way not to scare people is if I pick only the one I wanna talk about, and that way they're not gonna see um, the 18 different windows I have behind that. Um, and that's about it. So you're just gonna click, whatever, if you click screen, whatever you're seeing, they will see. If you click any one of these windows, they'll only see that window no matter what you're looking at. And if you click the whiteboard, it just creates this, uh, this white space for you to write in. Then you click share down here. Oh, and if you're gonna be sharing sound, this, this, is always, this always gets me every time. If you're gonna share sound, click on that button, okay? But then click share. And then it'll just show whatever is on your screen, okay? That's one way of doing screen capture. Um, you can use other methods as well. You know, there's, there's a million. Screencastify or, um, golly, YouTube Live, Facebook Live, that kind of thing. We'll, we'll make a recording however you want to do it. You can also just use your phone and upload that too. Okay, so those are some strategies to create um, little videos. Tune in for our next tech tip where we will talk about Google and how essential it's going to be um, for you in this class.